Welcome back to Learning in Technology. My name's Frank, and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I had a question come up of how can I get a student's attention if I put them into a meeting room or a channel and they're sitting there talking and having a great conversation, but now it's time to bring the whole class back to the main channel. Well, we can do that through the use of the at symbol. And in this video, I'll show you how to do that. Once again, if the video is useful, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Let's go have a look at how to get the attention of students in Teams. I have Teams open on two systems. So on this system here, I'm logged in as myself. And on this system here, I'm logged in as a student, Clark Kent. So what you'll see is that it's a slightly different interface. So underneath here, I can upload class materials. I can do some work here. And, and whereas Clark's just getting his welcome to the classroom. If I go in, you'll notice right here, it says you can do an at mentioning the class name or student's name to start a conversation in chat. What does this mean? Well, if I go in here and I go at, and I'll put in a student name, Clark Kent. If I go underneath here, I can say, hello, Clark. And what's going to happen is when I send this message, Clark is going to receive a notification and he's going to see that he'll get a bold general tag here. So he'll see that there's something that requires his attention there. Also, if he's using a mobile device, he'll get a notification on that mobile device. So if I go, hello, Clark, you'll see that I've now sent the hello, Clark. I've been mentioned and you'll notice that I have out here in the general I've got the notification. If I'm over here in meeting room number one, so Clark's in meeting room number one, and I do the same thing, I'll go at Clark. So I'll go at Clark, <clears throat> and I'll say, please come back to the general meeting. Okay, and we'll say back. Please come back to the general meeting, and I'll send that notification. You'll see, the notification came up. He's got a notification that we know something's happening there because he's got the symbol that he's received a notification there. And when he comes back to general, he will see that his name has been mentioned. He's been asked to come back and the notification will disappear. If Clark is in meeting room number, let's put him in meeting room number two. And let's say I have a number of people in meeting room number two. I can say at and I'll go meeting room number two. So at meeting room number two, hello everyone, we are now back as a main group. So we wanna bring everybody back to the main group. So I'll go ahead and send that message and you'll notice anybody who was in meeting room number two, which was Clark, will receive a notification and they will receive notification that they need to come back to the main room. So that's how we can mention people in the chat and get their attention when they're on another system. And it is worth mentioning, and I'm not going to show this in this video, but if I had a mobile device that was also logged into Teams, that would come up as a notification on that mobile device. Well, we can at least get our students' attention using Microsoft Teams. Outside of Teams, we may have more of a struggle, but we'll work on it. There are some other technologies we can use to get their attention. If it was a useful video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, watch some of my other videos to see if there's anything else that can help you, and comment down below. All of those wonderful YouTube-y things. Anyways, I thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next videos.